Hi, it's Tabitha again, and today I want to show you how to make these really cute Apple pencils. Now, um, today I'm working in the Macaroon, and I'll show you the front of what it looks like. It's by Chanel Shops Creations, and I will drop her Etsy shop in the description below, as well as I will drop where I got the actual free PNG for the Apple pencil that I'm actually going to be using today that we're going to mask over. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Procreate. Okay. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna hit Add. And I wanna use screen size, because as I always try to tell you, make it bigger, because it's easier to shrink down than it is to make something bigger in the end. So I need to go grab my photo. So I go over to my Actions tool, make sure I'm on Add, hit Insert Photo, and there it is. This is the one that I picked up. Now notice it's really tiny. I'm actually going to turn it on its side because I think I like working with them when they're sideways. And I'm just going to make it bigger. Now it's going to make it fat and you can make it thinner. It's okay. You can make it however, you know, to make it look more like the Apple Pencil that you want to work with. Okay, I'm going to click off of this. I'm going to put my hand over it to make sure I get the right color of white. And I'm going to go up to my paint brush and I'm going to pick paint or whatever, whatever brush you want to use. And I'm actually going to color out the Apple Pencil logo. And it's not that I'm trying to steal Apple Pencil, I promise. But when we go to mask it, it's easier when it's all one color. And we all know it's an Apple Pencil. Okay, so I've got that done. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go up to my layers. And I'm going to make, oh, let's see, let's go with four. You know, I want to make an extra one just in case I need it. And so I've got what, five layers here that I want to work with. I'm going to click off all the bottom layers at the moment. I'm also, while I'm here, going to go to the background. And I'm going to change the color to like a pale pink or something like that. Because since I'm working with the white Apple Pencil right now, it's a little difficult to see. So I just make sure my background's a different color. All right. So go back to my layers. I'm on this layer. It is turned on. I'm gonna go over to my shapes tool here. At the bottom, you'll see automatic, freehand, rectangle, and ellipse. I want you to make sure you're on automatic and you're just gonna tap on your pencil. I'm gonna go back to my layers, tap on the blue, and halfway down, you'll see mask. Tap on mask. Now I've made a nice mask of my Apple Pencil and we'll be able to put whatever you wanna put over top of it. So I'm gonna click off my shape there I'm going to go over to my actions and I'm going to make sure I'm on add and for me it's going to be insert a file for you it may be insert a photo but I'm going to go to my files and I've got all sorts of flowered um, wallpapers here and I'm going to go down and oh uh, let's make the purple one okay so I need to make sure it is covering my apple pencil and I don't want to cover my end I don't want to mask it so I'm going to leave my end view um, viewable Gonna go up to my layers, click on my inserted image there, and I'm gonna come back right underneath the word mask. You'll see clipping mask. And we're gonna clip it, and there you go. I now have a co covered apple pencil in this pretty purple flowers. Now, I can leave it there, but it's kind of flat, and I would prefer to have it look more rounded and stick up off my page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go choose one of these other layers. So let's choose the next one down. I'm going to click it on and for the moment I am going to click these off so I'm just working with this one. I need to come up here to my coloring again. If I double tap down on the blacks it'll turn it black. I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to make the pencil black. Okay. I'm going to click the one on that's underneath of it. I'm actually going to drag it on top but I'm going to make sure that the black layer is still chosen. All right so it's still in blue. Go over to my selection and I am just gonna barely, and I mean barely, just take it off just a little bit. Oops, and I got it slid, I don't wanna slide it that way. Let's see if I can slide it, there we go, just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna come up to my adjustments, which is the little magic wand. I'm gonna hit Gaussian Blur, and you know what, before I do that, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna go back. I wanna go back to my selection tool, make sure I'm on the white layer, all right? Hit that shape and I'm going to hit it just like we did a while ago when we went to mask it. I'm going to hit that. Then I'm going to go back to my black layer. Right? 
and I'm going to hit clear. All right. So now you can see that I have just this little piece. All right. And you can drag it and drop it. And we're going to leave it down there because I got a little ahead of myself a second ago. All right. Now I'm going to go and I am going to choose that next white layer. All right. I want to make sure it's on. I'm going to select it and I'm going to pull up just a little bit. And I know this is kind of hard to see because you're white and white, but just, just barely pull up. I'm going to go back, hit that top white layer again, go back to the shapes here, make sure I'm on automatic still, tap it, come back, come back to my white layer, All right, tap it again, and I'm going to hit clear. So now when I select it, you can see if I pull it up, that's just the edge. All right. All right, now we're going to click off the white pencil because I don't need him anymore. We're going to move the white little sliver up here and you're going to have to click on it and click on it and unclick the clipping mask. All right, then I'm going to go catch that black little sliver. Um, I'll put him up here and now I can click on my image that I put in and the mask. Okay, so you can see what I have all turned on right now. All right, so now I'm gonna move these little uh, slivers back on top of my pencil. So I've got the black one first. I am gonna move him so that he is just literally on the edge of it. Now I'm gonna go over hit my little magic wand or the adjustments, hit gosh and blur, and I'm gonna blur it just a little bit here. And see now, it, now it makes it look like it's got a shadow and it's like already popping off the screen. We're gonna go do that same thing with the white. And sometimes the white one I'll actually bring in so that's even slightly in a little bit more. All right, hit my gosh and blur again. We're gonna blur him out. And there you have it. I actually have a, what looks like a 3D pencil sticking out. Now you could just leave it here. We could take off the background and go and uh, save it as a PNG, or I can come in and pick up one of these back layers that I've got left, which I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this one. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna move it down. And then I'm gonna move it so that my points are together. So you can see how my little end pieces are together. All right, I'm gonna go over my color, make sure I'm still on black. I'm gonna drop the black here. Go over to my adjustments, hit my gosh and blur and I'm gonna blur him a little, but then I'm also gonna go here and I'm gonna hit my uh, N and I'm gonna change the opacity and take it way down, all right? And if you click off, now it looks like I actually have a shadow so the pencil really is popping off the screen. So for uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose both the pencil and the shadow. I just take off my background, go up to my actions, hit share, hit PNG, save it to my images. Now, if you didn't want the shadow, you could have clicked the shadow off as well here. But I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna go back into my macaroon. And I'm working in GoodNotes 5, so it has my camera roll up at the right-hand side if I click images. So I can just click on it directly. If you have GoodNotes 4, of course, you have to go into your images and then find your image. But I'm gonna click right on it. And there it is. I'm gonna crop it down some just because he's easier to work with. It's not too much. I'm gonna take really shadow. All right, and then I can make him bigger. I can actually adjust him a little bit more so he's not over top of that one. Um, if you think he's too fat, you can always you know thin him out a little bit. You can even make him a happy marker, <laughs> whatever you want to do. But there you go. So, oops, and welcome to Good Notes. Sometimes you have to change the page and come back. But there you have it. You have the Apple Pencil, you know, without the shadow, and you have the Apple Pencil with the shadow. Now, of course, if you wanted to actually make this the first gen, you would have had to have drawn in the uh, silver little uh, band on it. But I kind of, you know, like them this way. Anyway, even if I, when I used the old uh, Apple Pencil, I'd still um, covered the whole thing. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something and I cannot wait to see what you create. You can hop over to our Facebook page, which I will leave the link to that as well in the description and show me all of the designs you've made. 
Thank you and have a nice day.